Who's ready to light <sighs> it up? Hey everybody, for today's video I'm going to talk about continuous lighting and how it could help you take your night photography to the next level. I'm going to show you a couple lights that I personally use and it's really helped me progress with my night photography to create shots like this. Now the great thing about continuous lighting is having a foreground element lit up while you're taking a time lapse of the Milky Way. Also, it makes life so much easier when creating a Milky Way panorama or stacking several images and you want the light to be constant and exactly the same in each frame. Now there's a ton of different lighting options out there that I recommend you experiment and try out, but I'm just gonna share with you a couple things that I use that have worked really well for me. Okay guys, so the first light I'm gonna show you is the ILED Ultra Bright 160 video light. This is a dimmable LED light and it comes with barn doors, which are actually very convenient if you have to redirect the light. I don't want to blind the camera, but we can see how bright it goes. And to be honest, when you're doing night photography, I don't need that much light. I usually keep it on a very low setting, and this actually allows the light to last a lot longer. I could probably go for several hours with this light. And um, it just runs off a rechargeable battery that you have to buy separately, unfortunately. But yeah, it works really well. And I highly recommend this. It's around 50 bucks, and I'll put the link in the description below. All right, so the next light I'm going to show you is by Newer. And this light's a little bit cheaper than the other one and has a couple of advantages and a couple of disadvantages. It's dimmable, which is great. It's also a 160 LED ultra bright light. Now, the disadvantage to this is it doesn't have the barn doors. It's, and it's not a deal breaker, but it uh, it's there's a couple times when the spread is too wide and I couldn't make it more narrow unless you jerry-rig something around the sides, maybe like a bounce card. Then you could kind of direct the light. So that's a little bit of a hassle, but it's not, like I said, not a deal breaker. Now this also runs on the same exact battery, the rechargeable battery as the first light, which is awesome because they're interchangeable and um, you know that works really well. But the advantage to this one is you could actually pull out the battery and it will also run on six AA batteries. So that's a great option in case, uh, in case this battery dies, you have a backup way to operate this light. It also has a test button so you can check how much battery life is left in this light. So very cool stuff. Like I said, it doesn't have the barn doors, but um, it's a little bit cheaper and I highly recommend this one as well. Now what I love about these lights is how small and compact they are. And there's a ton of competition on Amazon for these type of lights, so you can definitely shop around and find them as cheap as $25. Now I try to bring both lights if I can with me. Um, it, it's Sometimes I don't have the space, but they're really not that big and they're really not that heavy. And if you couple it with a small tripod like this, um, I got this for like a selfie stick. It's, it's so small. Uh, I highly recommend at least trying to bring one with you just to kind of experiment and light up foreground elements. Uh, I like it a lot better than using like a flashlight or, or my headlamp. It just gives you a little bit more control. So trying to invest in something like this would probably be your best bet. Now if you're really tight on space and weight and you have no other option, then headlamps work pretty good, um, especially if they're dimmable, that, that works better. And if not, I actually like this light a lot. This is the UCO light, and it turns into a lantern that has three different settings, high, medium, and low. So that kind of helps out with your exposure. If you're too hot, you could lower this and dim it to the lowest setting. Or another option I like to do is throw a t-shirt over it and kind of that will diffuse it as well. I actually use this quite often in my tent shots when I want to light up the tent. I throw this in there, I'll put a t-shirt over it, 
and I'm good to go. And this will last pretty long as well, so you could do a nice time lapse or a Milky Way panorama, whatever your little heart desires. All right guys, so that wraps it up for continuous lighting. Please try it out. And if you guys have a particular light that you really like, leave it in the comments below, share it with everybody else. And I'm really interested too, because there, like I said, there's so much stuff out there um, and things are constantly getting innovated. So let's share all this information and really help out the community. So thank you very much. Hey everybody, thanks again for watching and thank you for helping me hit over 5,000 subscribers. It really means a lot to me and it really motivates me to keep on going and growing this channel um, and this community that we've built. So thank you so much. And I just wanna let everybody know I'm gonna be away next week in Alaska and Washington. So I might not have a video until the following week. Take care and I'll see you guys soon.